Hello, and thank you for joining us today. I'm Simon Floyd, Industry Director for Manufacturing and Transportation at Google Cloud. And I am Suchitra Bose, Director for Manufacturing and Industrial Solutions at Google Cloud. Welcome to the second episode of the Smart Factory Transformers. In this new video series from Google Cloud, we'll tell the exciting stories of how manufacturers are in the midst of a transformation journey, digitizing production processes and reinventing customer experience using data and artificial intelligence. In this episode, we'll talk about the machine learning boost for asset performance and production uptime, something I'm really looking forward to talking to you about today. If your organization is seeking the latest digital methods to optimize machine performance for manufacturing, then this episode was tailor-made for you. We will share some observations from the industry and then show you an example of how manufacturers can create, deploy, and manage machine learning in their operations and do so quickly and easily by adding Vertex AI to an implementation of our manufacturing data engine and manufacturing connect. We will first talk about why this approach is needed in the industry, and then we will turn it over to our great engineering team for a demonstration. So hi, Sutrija, we're back together again for this episode. It's always good to be with you. Question, of course, always have one. So why should manufacturers care about using machine learning in their operations? Uh, same here, Simon. Great to be with you in this uh, episode, uh, episode again. And uh, that's actually a great question, Simon. So the number one priority for manufacturers is to keep uh, production going 24 by 7. And this is influenced by a lot of factors like availability of raw materials, uh, supply chain quality, uh, yield production uptime or asset availability and all those uh, basically, you know, things which truly happen in manufacturing. But for this discussion, let's focus on production uptime. So when we talk about optimization in this field, we think about the equipment calibration, which is making sure you achieve the highest and greatest yield in any given time. And equipment maintenance, which is essentially keeping physical assets and machines running smoothly and efficiently and making sure you don't have any unscheduled downtime. So AI can be applied to provide manufacturers with actionable advice on how to optimally calibrate and maintain their assets in a cost-effective way and how to get most output from these machines and uh, also uh, how to increase the uptime, eliminate any unplanned downtime and predict and prevent failures. So one McKinsey study, it showed that using digital maintenance and reliability transformation companies, especially in the area of heavy industries, they can increase asset availability by five to 15% and reduce maintenance cost by 18 to 25%. There is another McKinsey study which actually shows that in the area of heavy industries, manufacturers, they have reported that a higher asset availability and a more efficient workforce have increased profitability by 4 to 10% in some organizations. But these lighthouse examples are few. And oftentimes, manufacturers, they face challenge when it comes to connecting their predictive maintenance program to scalable benefits. And that is where, Simon, I would like to know from, from you that how can Google Cloud make a difference? Yeah, yeah that's a great question. I, I think uh, you and I hear this all, all the time from our customers. And, you know, they, they, obviously many of the things you've said there are the things that they tell us. But when we talk to them about them as well, they, they'll always center in on that piece of you know, predictive maintenance or anomaly detection. It, it sort of it, it captures their attention and then they turn it over to us and say, and so what do you do? And I'm really pleased to say that we're going to have a live demonstration of, of how that works. And what we've done is put together a coordinated workflow, and we believe that workflow itself is actually the difference. Uh, plus, of course, you know, we've added in some things there which help people organize the information in a way that makes it very usable in the first place, which is another really great point to make, that the data foundation is especially critical 
in order for us to get to a predictive maintenance or anomaly detection. So the wonderful thing I believe about this method is that it can be used by a data analyst or it could be used by a manufacturing data scientist. And why it's so easy for them is not only it's a coordinated workflow, but we've automated the acquisition of the data. We have a method for training machine learning models and deploying them to the edge and monitoring their performance. This provides them with uh, a way that they can also continuously improve the model, whether that's running on the edge or if it's running in the cloud. And in manufacturing, we, we do this all the time. Continuous improvement is, is nothing new. And so if we do it for our processes and for our machines, why wouldn't we do it for machine learning as well? I think that's really very critical because we want the automation that machine learning provides us. Uh, we want that to be just not, not just automated, but we want it to be accurate. We want it to be right every single time. So typically what we do here is that concern for manufacturers that it's difficult. That's the last mile for them is doing the machine learning itself. And then there's always that discussion. Does it belong in IT? Does it belong over an operational tech group? Where does it belong? And we would say, yes, it belongs in both. And we'll show everybody today uh, how, how that's going to be made possible. So uh, coming right up, my colleague Carl Wo is going to walk through a sample implementation that he has put together of how a fictitious company, which uh, is called Symbol Fabrication, uh, can optimize their CNC milling operations by training machine learning models that will predict health and mitigate any failures that might affect production. Something that most people will want to do in a production circumstance, whether it's a CNC mill, a plastic injection molding machine, pick and place machine, or so on. So without further ado, take it away, Kawo. Hi, I'm Kawo Fong, and today I'm going to share how you can build a system to predict assets condition using manufacturing data engine, manufacturing connect, Vertex AI and Looker. The number one priority for manufacturers is to keep productions up and running. One of the ways to achieve that goal is to predict when production machines will fail and take proactive measures. For our example, we have created a fictitious discrete manufacturing company called Symbol Fabrication. 80% of Symbol Fabrication's manufacturing processes involves milling, which are done using industrial CNC milling machines. Although their factories implement routine maintenance checklists, there are unplanned and unknown failures that happens from time to time. Moreover, many of the Symbol Fabrications factory workers lack the experience to identify and troubleshoot failures due to high turnover rates and skill gaps in their factories. As one of the manufacturing engineers in Symbol Fabrications, Elena wants to see whether she can use AI to identify and troubleshoot failures for her CNC milling machines. Knowing that Vertex AI has AutoML for people with minimal data science experience, Elena decides to use Google Cloud to build an AutoML model that can identify and analyze assets conditions. To validate the performance of AutoML, Elena decides to find a public data set that she can use before building the end-to-end -end data pipelines from the shop floor. Elena found a public CNC milling machine data sets from Kaggle that maps nicely to her use case. The data set contains various sensor readings as features and tool conditions as label. She then downloads the public datasets from Kaggle. The features and labels of this dataset are in separate files, so Elena creates a simple Python notebook to merge the feature and label data. Next, Elena creates a tabular dataset in Vertex AI and uploads the merged datasets to cloud storage. This might take a few seconds. Once the data set is created, she configures an AutoML training jobs and directly trains an AutoML models from the UI. After the AutoML model is trained, Elena examines the model performance in Vertex AI. She then applies the AutoML models for batch predictions on MDE data that are stored in BigQuery. 
she configures the batch prediction jobs to output to cloud storage for MDE to subsequently ingest the prediction results and explanations. Once the batch prediction jobs completes, Elena checks how many records were processed. Cost is always top of mind for businesses. We can see that Elena spent less than $37 for training and serving a highly performant AutoML model. Note that this cost is not representative for all asset condition prediction use cases, and the cost may vary depending on your data and AutoML configuration. You may ask, where did the data in BigQuery come from? Well, the data is simulated by Manufacturing Connect and processed by Manufacturing Data Engine. Before training the AutoML model, Elena has already configured MC and MDE. MC allows manufacturing engineers like Elena to configure MDE for data transformation and enrichments. To define the data pipelines for asset condition predictions, first, Elena created a payload to identify the prediction messages from PubSub. Then, Elena created a parser to define the data transformation logic for the prediction payload. Lastly, Elena defined metadata schemas for enriching the streaming telemetries. In this case, the data pipeline is already up and running, and you can see the streaming telemetries represented as tags. For each tag, Elena configured the metadata values and where the data will be stored in Google Cloud. From the MCUI, Elena can connect to the Manufacturing Connect Edge components directly. MC Edge components are deployed on the shop floors and allows manufacturing engineers like Elena to run Edge analytics and connect factory assets to Google Cloud. In this case, Elena created an MC Edge flow to simulate CNC milling machines, telemetries into a local message broker. Moreover, Elena configured MC Edge to stream the simulated telemetries from the local message broker to PubSub for MDE to process. Now that Elena has the end-to-end -end data pipelines and ML predictions configured, Elena has to show the insights in an easy-to-consume manner for her manager, Andrew. Knowing Looker's integrations with Google Data Cloud, Elena decides to build a Looker dashboard for Andrew to consume the asset condition. From the dashboard, Andrew can see a high-level overview of his assets. Also, he can drill down into prediction messages and analyze the performance of the model. To investigate further when the CNC milling machine is worn, Andrew can filter the dashboards by highlighting the time span that he's interested in. Andrew can then analyze the prediction results and top important features to determine why the asset had failed. In some cases, Andrew would decide that maintenance is required to minimize assets downtime. From the Looker dashboards, Andrew can directly schedule a maintenance request and contact the supplier. Often, Andrew wants the ability to tune the sensitivity of the asset condition prediction model based on his business requirements. In the dashboards, he can tune this model sensitivity by filtering on different values of score thresholds. With this filter, Andrew is classifying predictions as worn if and only if the prediction confidence score is greater than 0.8. Thus, the model is less sensitive to positive predictions and results in fewer false positives. You can see that the model accuracy has improved with the new score thresholds. Once Andrew finds the optimal score thresholds for his use case, he can proactively monitor his CNC milling machines by creating alerts in Looker. The alert will automatically inherit the filter values from the dashboard. In this demo, you learn how Elena, a manufacturing engineer, can build a assets condition prediction engine using Manufacturing Connect, Manufacturing Data Engine, and Vertex AI. You also learn how Andrew, a plant manager, can use Looker to visualize and troubleshoot his assets. To learn more, you can check out the open source code for the sample implementations on GitHub. Also, take a closer look at the manufacturing solutions Elena and Andrew used on the Google Cloud website. And follow the Smart Factories Transformer series playlist on YouTube to see more manufacturing examples. Thank you, Kawo. And hello, everyone. My name is Prabhu Palanisamy. I'm the Chief Strategy Officer at SpringMA. Kavo, thank you again for sharing this great example and the follow-up resources. By prioritizing assets, using technology partnerships, and having a people-first mentality around technology and ease of use, we can capture the value from increased production time, 
and reduced maintenance costs. Inside the ecosystem, the next layer of accelerators available to manufacturers are also important. These solution, fit, these solution accelerators provide fit to purpose frameworks to solve specific manufacturing use cases. For example, manufacturing data engine can collect, store, filter, and process data in a data lake. This helps to build advanced data analytics, ML pipelines, and visualization use cases quickly. We want to highlight a use case that we recently deployed for Caliber Collision. Caliber Collision is one of the nation's largest collision repair service center with over 1,500 locations in 40 states. We built an ML-driven ADAS calibration platform for Caliber Collision. ADAS stands for an advanced driver assistance system that is key for parking and driving functions. During a collision repair, ADAS calibration is a key activity that involves time and resources. ML-driven ADAS calibration platform will expedite repair and also ensure compliance is met. We were able to build an ML-driven calibration platform with over 92% accuracy. After six months of extensive testing, we were able to successfully deploy to production. By working with Google Cloud, we were able to use industry-leading AI capabilities in Vertex AI, BigQuery, and App Engine to put them to work in this very specific manufacturing use case with great business outcome. Thank you, and back to you, Simon. Today, we've seen a practical example of how to create, deploy, and manage machine learning in manufacturing operations. And we heard about how Spring ML is making it real for many of their customers today. We discussed it all starts with a clear understanding of the asset base and performance goals. Advanced planning and prioritization is absolutely key. Secondly, the easier a solution is to implement, the quicker manufacturers can show ROI relative to the development investment itself. This also includes engaging with the right digital ecosystem partners to fine tune and develop new capability on top of that platform. Google Cloud provides the infrastructure, data platform and ecosystem partners to develop AI models uniquely tailored to a specific production line, factory, or the enterprise. We really hope that you found the information we shared today helpful. Please reach out and we'll welcome you on this journey and continue to follow our manufacturing use case series on YouTube, please, and of course on our website. Thank you again very much for watching.